How safe is the air on planes? A new study reveals that the poor air quality on commercial planes could make frequent flyers sick. Bleed air systems have been widely used in commercial aircraft since the 1950s. When air is sucked into the engine compressor, a small portion of the compressed air is redirected through valves into the cabin air conditioning units where it is cooled and mixed with recirculated cabin air. Air contamination takes place when the lubricant applied on the combustion parts of the engine heat up and the chemicals leak through damaged seals into the compressor before entering the valves that send compressed air to the air conditioning units. The filters in the units are designed to remove bacteria, viruses, and dust. However, they cannot remove toxic chemicals. Constant exposure to such contaminated air may lead to aerotoxic syndrome, of which symptoms include runny nose, vomiting, severe headaches, and even memory loss. Despite the fact that most airlines and manufacturers insist aerotoxic syndrome is not an issue, Boeing changed its design for its 787 Dreamliner to one that does not include a bleed air system. The company claims the new system would help passengers arrive at their destinations fresher. Keep watching for more problems that can shut a plane down. Now that's what you call silent but deadly. All passengers on an American Airlines flight were evacuated on Sunday afternoon after someone farted so hard it made people sick. An unknown passenger reportedly dropped a stink bomb so bad that it warranted an actual deplaning. The cheese cutting apparently made passengers on the plane feel nauseated and overcome with headaches. The plane quickly landed at Raleigh Durham International Airport in North Carolina and passengers were released from the aircraft. Luckily, no casualties were reported from the windy incident. One big question though, what in the world did that stinker eat? Okay, now chuckles aside, farts, flatus, or flatulence can actually make you sick. Backdoor breezes are comprised of minor sulfur gas components, including hydrogen sulfide. And depending on the amount, it can cause headaches, nausea, skin, and or eye irritation. So uh, keep it in your pants or like go to the bathroom or something, man. Southwest Flight Makes Emergency Landing After Engine Blows Southwest Flight 3472 narrowly avoided tragedy thanks to its pilot's quick response to a mid-air blast. The plane was 25 minutes into a flight from New Orleans to Orlando on Saturday when a loud explosion erupted from the left engine. Smoke was coming from the ruined engine, its metal parts flapping in the wind while the plane shook violently. The plane began falling and panic set in as oxygen masks deployed inside the cabin. The aircraft was tilting dangerously to one side and descending rapidly, dropping 20,000 feet in less than 10 minutes. Startled passengers were crying and screaming and feared it was the end. But the crew remained calm and pilots soon managed to stabilize the plane. The Boeing 737 aircraft made an emergency landing in Pensacola minutes later, where the 99 passengers and five crew members disembarked safely. Southwest Airlines has yet to specify what caused the engine failure, but is working with the Federal Aviation Administration and National Transportation Safety Board to investigate. Singapore Airlines flight lands on runway and catches fire. During the early morning hours of June 27th, a Singapore Airlines flight to Milan found itself in a scary situation. Roughly two hours into the journey, the 222 passengers and 19 crew members on board the Boeing 777 were notified by the pilot of an engine oil warning message, which would force the plane to have to turn back to Singapore. As the pilot was making an emergency landing at Chani Airport, suddenly the plane's right engine burst into flames. Fire crews rushed to douse the fire as passengers could only watch from their seats, trapped on board. Many have been reported as saying they felt they were about to die. Luckily, within minutes, the fire was extinguished, with no injuries to report. Passengers safely disembarked from the plane and were put on a new flight to Italy a few hours later. Dreamliner flaw might cause plane to shut down mid-flight. The Federal Aviation Administration warned on Friday that a software glitch in the Boeing 787 Dreamliner could cause the plane to power down mid-flight. Four of the Dreamliner's six electrical generators are mounted on its two engines. The generators provide power for a variety of functions, including the plane's electronic systems, cabin pressure, and de-icing wing parts. 
Boeing has found that if the four engine generators are left working continuously for about eight months or 248 days, a software internal counter could possibly overflow and cause a loss of all electrical power even mid-flight. Even if the main generators failed, the Dreamliner's main lithium-ion batteries could still provide power to the flight deck for six seconds before a ram air turbine could be deployed. The amount of power provided by the turbine would then allow the pilots to turn the engine power back on or fly to the nearest airport. According to Boeing, shutting the plane's electrical systems down periodically would eliminate the risk of the plane's power generator shutting down at the same time.